Hey guys, another challenge. Cooker bite again. Most free time. Interesting name. Uh, definitely caught me. So medium uh, difficulty. Again, a lot of time we will most probably will dive in or simple or hard ones, but a lot of time like there is no uh, a lot of companies would like to see this style of coding and again not the true true complexity out there. Again, this is also important. And again, when you have interviewing and you see this weird uh, um, challenges, again, a lot of time, maybe it's not even indications that they do this every day. So, or is it like a good or bad preparation from their side to provide these examples? But again, uh, so this is kind of the world we live in. Then, moving that aside, let's concentrate what we're uh, here for. Again, pure coding. In this case, we will, uh, we will be doing in uh, JavaScript. Usually, just let me know if you would like to see any other implementations. Um, will not make fun of any languages out there. Uh, okay, uh, let's read up. Uh, most free time. Uh, have uh, function most free time uh, uh, string array. Uh, read string array parameter uh, being passed uh, which will represent a full day and will be filled with events that span from time x to uh, time y in the day. The format uh, of each event will be uh, hours, uh, minute, a.m., p.m., oh, dash, a.m., p.m., okay, cool. Uh, uh, so right away it's matter to break it down and convert to something more usable, but again, just don't, let's not jump uh, to implementation too soon. For example, uh, we may have like 10 a.m. to 12.30 a.m. and from 2.30 to this and even more, right? So it's more than two. Uh, so yeah, we have numbers of, uh, of possible slots out there. Your uh, program will have to output of the longest amount of free time available between start uh, of your first event and the end of the last event in, uh, in the format. Uh, hours minute. Start event should uh, be earliest event uh, in the day and the latest event uh, uh, should be latest event uh, in the day. Sorry. Uh, uh, um, the output of previous input will uh, would therefore be 130 with the earliest event in the day starting 9:10 and the latest event uh, at 2:45. Uh, will it contain at least three events? Oh, input. Okay, we have three events at least, uh, and the event may out of older. Okay, so. Definitely we need to think kind of at scale, so we have at least three, but most probably even more than three, so no kind of hard code for only three parameters, by the way. Um, for that matter, um, uh, we have... Uh, 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 we, uh, we have... Uh, 12, 15, 2, 9, and output we have... Uh, uh, 0, 0, 30. Okay. Most free time. Okay, so we got that, and also we go through the another examples and the output 04. So yeah, let's see what we can do here. So we got implementation again. There's a variety of ways you can do. In this case, we will we'll be using match just to parse it out. There's uh, other means uh, to do this. So again, we'll create empty array to, uh, to store our uh, minutes for each event. So we'll keep adding up and create variables to keep the longest free time out there. So uh, after that we'll introduce, again, as we have function, it's okay to create additional functions. So uh, at, uh, in this case it will be a time calculation. Convert string to minutes. So again we throw in numbers, so we'll have our minutes starting with zero. Uh, uh, we deal with our matching uh, PM. Uh, again, ignoring uh, upper or lower case, I believe so, yeah, because it could be, yeah. Uh, so, again, recalculating into minutes. Uh, 
Uh, after that, we will uh, deal uh, hours converted to minutes. So uh, hearing the same, so we'll be using split here. Add minutes. So we are basically adding up again. We talk in numeric. So we'll keep adding stuff and again keep adding whatever minutes uh, we uh, we have there and returning. So this is kind of helpful functions that we'll use. After that, we'll go uh, loop through the array of events uh, and convert each uh, time to minutes. So again, uh, we got our initial array out there. Uh, we got the length and we will uh, go and we'll uh, split through uh, uh, basically uh, having each of them, we will split out to the new arrays and we will push these two, sep two separate values into our new uh, uh, array that we uh, initiated earlier, started. So we'll sort array minutes in uh, ascending order. So in this case, again, this is another function that we'll use instead of pure implementation, we will sorting out. So we'll get the function and we'll go like, hey, A to B. So we'll keep sorting uh, within. Also, the next one we will loop through the sorted array uh, uh, in here to find uh, longest time free. So we'll go it and we'll kind of keep adding and see what's the longest. After that, we will convert longest free time to hours and minutes. So it's other way around. So it's our base was minutes, not seconds, not hours, but minutes. So we'll, after that, we'll still need to kind of convert more kind of uh, classic hour. Uh, uh, semicolon minute uh, format uh, here. So after that, we're adding a leading zero if necessary for single digit uh, and, and hours. Again, small touch, but very important. Just make sure that again, we have like this examples. If you follow my cursor, this is nine, zero nine, not just zero. So it's uh, zero nine. And after that, uh, uh, we will return longest is zero or we'll just do separator. So let's run the code. We'll get 30 minutes, we good. Let's let's run another example here. Run four minutes, super. Let's clear the box. Let's run cases we have. Ah, the same cases, no help. So that is correct. And yeah, let's go with submission. up here. Okay, all test cases completed. All submitting. Again, ignore the time period. Again, it was the main idea that we do have our test case output corrected. So still you can see how other individuals are doing this submission. Uh, uh, so here's the code uh, implementation and yeah, as usual you will find uh, the source code uh, and uh, in the comment section. So let me know if you would like to see other implementation in other languages and such or other challenges out there. In this case, again, it was uh, most free time uh, implementation in JavaScript. Again, please subscribe, like if you like this content. Uh, drop your comments if any. Thank you guys and see you next one.